the dance spectacular. It is a great privilege to be standing here on the same platform as my guru and a great artist. It is with great humility that we in Melbourne welcome an artist of Shanjukta Panigrahi's stature. Odissi evolved in the sanctified dance halls in the temples of Odisha, a state on the northeastern coast of the Indian subcontinent. Cultural evidences prove its prevalence in the 2nd century BC. Dedicated dancers, locally known as Maharis, performed it for centuries as an essential item of temple rituals, especially in the temple of Lord Jagannath of Puri. Odyssey is a marvelous balance of crisp footwork enhanced by the soft flow of the upper portion of the body. It is characterized by the flexible motive of the three bhanga, the three bodily bends of head, torso and legs. Srimati Shanjukta Panigrahi rescued the Orissi dance form from obscurity and earned for it the rightful place in the Indian classical dance. To say her dance is an aesthetic experience, both moving and inspiring. With grace and vitality, she brings to life the frozen sculptures of Konarak and the other temples of Orissa. She started her career at the age of five under Guru Kelcharan Mahabhadra and has also undergone a rigorous six-year training in Bharatanatyam under the guidance of Rukmini Devi. In 1976, she was honored the Padma Shri by the President of India and has been awarded the Orissi State Academy Award and for the first time in history of Central Sangeet Natak Academy, a joint award was given to Shanjukta and her singer husband for their dedication and great contribution in the development and enrichment of Orissi. Srimati Shanjukta is accompanied tonight by her famous singer husband, Pandit Sri Raghunath Panigrahi, the master composer, distinguished singer, singing in 12 different languages, preacher of Indian religion and philosophy through devotional songs, has been acclaimed all over the world. He has been performing with his wife in special orisi and devotional items throughout the world. He is also famous for his immortal creation of Saint poet Jadeva's Gita Govindam and has received a Grand Prix Award at France for his contribution to music. The first item for this evening is the Mangala Chara. This marks the entrance of the dancer on the stage. The dancer invokes the blessings of Lord Javanath for an auspicious beginning. Then, the dancer offers salutations to the Mother Earth, the teacher, the accompanist, and to the audience. It is followed by a prayer to Lord Rama, Tal Ek Tali Rag Kalavati. Thank you. 